In SPSS, the level of measurement is very important. Now, I've heard some people say in videos, don't worry about the level of measurement, just put it as whatever, but I strongly disagree, and I'll tell you at the end of this video why, after we've gone through the different types. So, these are level me levels of measurement for using SPSS. You have three options, nominal, ordinal, and scale, and we're going to define those three. Now, all of your variables, as long as you've done quantitative or closed-ended type of questions, generally speaking, can be categorized as either categorical or scale. Now scale is the word used by SPSS for quantitative type data. I'm going to look at categorical data first. If you've got data that's categories, so for example from a questionnaire someone has to tick a response, um, say their age group or their income group, that would be categorical. It's either ordinal or nominal. Now, ordinal means that the categories have a meaningful rank or order to them. So, for example, age groups, 18 to 24, 25 to 30, 31 to 35, those are increasing in age. So I would classify them as ordinal. Similarly, if you have Likert scale type questions, so strongly disagree to strongly agree, those categories or groupings have a meaningful rank or order to them. There's a level of agreement there. So that would also be ordinal. I think one of the biggest mistakes I see students make is to say that Likert scales are scale because it has the word scale in them. And that's not always the case. I've seen recently in some textbooks that if the ordinal data can be shown to be normally distributed, then you can also classify it as scale. Um, but for a first go, all ordinal variables should be classified as ordinal, and then you can start to do normality tests and analysis and things like that. Now, the second categorical group is nominal. Now, these are categories without a meaningful rank or order to them. So, for example, marital status, single, married, divorced, widowed, separated. Those categories cannot be put in any kind of rank or order. Gender, male, female, I can't rank males and females in any meaningful order. Both of these would be nominal because the groups do not have a meaningful rank or order to them. Another common type of question from a questionnaire is a yes-no question. Anything that's yes-no is typically nominal. There's no meaningful rank or order to the yeses and nos. Let's move over to scale. Simply put, scale data is data that's not grouped. It's numerical data that's not grouped. So for example on a questionnaire if I ask what is your age in years and you write in your age, say I'm 21, 23, that scale or what is your height or what is your weight or how long in minutes does it take you to commute to work in the morning? What is your gross annual income? All of those open response numerical questions are not grouped so they are categorized as scale. Now, as I mentioned before, in SPSS, there's three options to choose from. Your data is either no nominal, ordinal, or scale. Now, I think it is essential to classify data correctly, and I'll tell you the two reasons. One is, if I classify nominal data as scale, and then I try to make a bar chart, SPSS will not let me do it. It will come out with some little skinny bars. It's going to try to make a histogram because that's what you do with scale data. So it needs to be classified as nominal. Secondly, you should be choosing your statistical inferential tests and descriptive statistics based on the level of measurement. So for example, if I want to look at a significant difference in income between males and females, income is scale, so I know I could possibly do a t-test. Now I would obviously need to test the assumptions first, such as normality and equal variance, but the t-test would be my first go-to test. However, if my measurement is not scale, say it's ordinal, I need to use a non-parametric test, so it does depend on the level of measurement of my data. So level of measurement, it is important because it should affect um, what SPSS will let you do sometimes and it will also affect what type of analysis you should be choosing.